How's it going guys? Welcome to my first tutorial on this channel and today I'm basically going to show you how you can improve your custom thumbnail so you can get more views uh, on your videos. Now many big youtubers like Ray William Johnson, Smosh, or PewDiePie they all use this technique to attract viewers to watch their videos obviously and uh, the most important thing when a person is browsing through YouTube's list of videos is the custom thumbnail because that's the first thing they see uh, other than the title of course so today that's what I'm going to do I'm going to show you many techniques and methods that you can apply to your uh, individual videos that you make and that can attract more viewers to your channel and your videos overall so anyway let's go ahead and start with uh, the tutorial this tutorial is very simple there's only one main thing you're going to need and that is a uh, photo editor software now there's many out there like Photoshop or paint but I'm using a free one which is called GIMP and I'm going to put a link to it on the description below so you can download it and if you want go ahead and stop this video download the software and come back to it now there are many kinds of videos nowadays on YouTube and uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use an example of a very popular type of videos which are gaming commentary videos or let's play videos so I'm going to do a thumbnail for a video that is going to be about a montage of uh, Call of Duty kills or something like that that is going to help the uh, person that is making the video get a better audience and uh, overall more comments likes and views so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Google images and for this particular example I'm just going to type in Call of Duty background okay now there's two main things you want to do one you want to use a very high quality picture because when a person is looking at the custom thumbnail of the other videos they are most likely to click on yours if it's in high definition or high quality now you also want to use very bright colors that are that are appealing to the eye of the person that is uh, searching through your videos so for this particular example I'm just going to use this one over here Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 it looks very nice and we're going to add some things to it that are going to improve it so I'm going to download it and once I download it you want to go back into GIMP go to file open and click on it it's going to open the file for you and you can start working on it so the thing like I said before I'm going to do a montage of kills basically for the game so you want to add really good crisp text and I'm going to show you how to do that right now you want to go to tools if you don't have a toolbar sometimes it disappears for some reason so go to toolbox and this toolbox is going to appear now you want to select the text option and you want to make a text where there isn't any text already I know that sounds redundant but it makes sense because you can't just write over Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because it wouldn't make sense, right? So what you want to do is I'm going I'm going to type in Modern Warfare 3 best kills. Of course, I have to um, make it bigger. So that's what I'm going to do now. Select your whole text and just make it bigger overall. Now, if you have a preference of a font that you want to use go ahead and use it but for this case I am going to use Mr. Earl BT semi condensed because I really like that font and it looks pretty cool so but you can use whatever font you want now as you can see right now you can't really read it so I'm going to change it to a white color it looks good so far but there's a way that you can improve it if you go to layers go to text to path what I'm going to do basically here is add a border to the text that is going to make it look better and crisper once you do that 
We go to layer, new layer, click OK. Then go to select, from path, select, growth, and I would say probably about 10. And then go to layer again and merge down. Now, what you want to do is click on this tool, which is the bucket fill tool, and select the black color or whatever other color you want to choose. It could be purple, black, blue, green, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to fill the outside of the font. See how it looks better? It just looks more appealing and crisper. Now, you can make it bigger or smaller if you want. I'm just going to leave it like this. But preferably, you want to make it bigger than the actual Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 logo. So people can look at the title first other than the Call of Duty logo. I don't think I can't really change it right now, but you want to make sure that you do that. So that is one way that you can improve your custom thumbnails by adding really crisp text and getting really good backgrounds. Now there I'm going to show you another example of a custom thumbnail that I did before for uh, a let's play for Happy Wheels. And what I did here, as you can see, I copied the uh, an image from Happy Wheels and pasted it into a nice background. I did the number one uh, font, same font that I used on the other thumbnail, and I added a cool logo from my channel. You can also do that. That is very. That is. Uh, I recommend you to do that too. If you have a logo of your channel or a character or an avatar, go ahead and do that. It's really good. People like it, and it's it just adds a good addition to your uh, thumbnail. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use mine. Good documents avatar. Mine is in transparent, so that means that as soon as I uh, open it, I can just uh, cut it and paste it right in. Okay, there it is. And you can just add it on a corner or uh, preferably on a corner right here. And there, there you go. Now you have a cool custom thumbnail that people are most likely going to click on it just because it looks better overall. So, regardless of what kind of videos you guys make, this technique can apply to you. So, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. And uh, I'll see you guys later.